I don't need to, you know, I'm nothing in the ball, man. I'm just gonna speak facts. I'm in the general, right? Facts! That's all I speak. Truth. Oh, yeah, featuring the side of mine. No need to sugarcoat. <laughs> He put his hand up on your hip. Then he put his dick on your lip. He put his hand up on your hip. Then he put his dick on your lip. He put his hand up on your hip. Then he put his dick on your lip. He put his hand up on your hip. And then you got that more and more. He put his hand up on your hip. Then he put his dick on your lip. He put his hand up on your hip. Then he put his dick on your lip. He put his hand up on your hip. Then he put his dick on your lip. He put his and he put your. And then you got that more and more and more. Nah, I'm sorry for truth. Being as it may, it did have my Yes, yes, yes. This is none other than your boy, Edmund the General, you heard? Also known as the brand. And today is a good day. It's Saturday, February the 10th. 2018 and man I don't know where y'all are in the world but me being up here in this great country we've got a hell lot of snow hell lot of snow accidents chaos is all over the place snow is just rising but they say it's gonna be better later on tonight so who knows they said it's gonna drop down to minus six so we'll see how that goes um but hey yeah how is everyone doing how is everyone doing uh how do we start let's start off with uh, the basics first first what you'll be listening to today is i need a quickie mixtapes volume 18 and you can find that through the website www.edmundthegeneral.com Still hasn't even moved from the place. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can make this better. Alright, that's a little better. I'm a tall guy, so for me to go down like this, weird. Alright, so anyways, volume 18, that's on the website, www.edmundgeneral.com. There's that email, there's that website right there. Um that is the tree that branches out to everything that you need. Entertainment, education, blogs, music. Like it has everything that you need, um, and it also uh, gives you access to um, albums, singles, and other resources that you would need, especially if you're looking to do um, any uh, working working from home type of jobs. Uh, I said I dropped a link on that site as well. So if you are looking to work from home, just make some little extra change here and there. You know, I, I, there's a link in there through that menu. Uh, scroll down, you can check it out. Uh, sign up there. I also dropped some uh, some books if you are looking to get some more information about how to uh, build a business or if you are looking to um, uh, do better in life if you need some kind of inspiration I got some books in there as well through that through the menu area just follow that link go to the work from home area that site will bring you to the to the night the right spot and uh, yeah so we're looking at State of Arizona versus Christian Adair. Christian Adair is also known as Lord Drazen or Lord Drazen. Black Rampage, Pro Black Chris. I call this man the YouTube celebrity. The reason why I call him a celebrity? Cause homie made the papers. You know, you know, you know, you know how I knew that he made the papers? Cause I was listening to Beasley today, Beasley Live. B E A S L E Y live, and uh, I listen to him from time to time. Funny guy, funny guy. Always got some jokes. Always dropping some real talk. It's always right. It's always good to listen to some some OGs who are funny. Who once in a while drop some knowledge. You know what I'm saying? So he's a funny guy. I like listening to this guy. 
Um, I also like listening to Black Rampage, also known as Pro Black Chris, Pro Black Chris, or Lord Drazen. And now you know his name, Christian Adair. Uh, I heard one of his. Um, well, he's. I I know about him through a through a YouTuber that I heard him call into, and I was checking this guy, giving this guy some real talk, and um, from there. It just enabled me to do some more research to find out a little bit more about him. And then I found his page and found his other pages, his other aliases. And then for some odd reason today, I'm at work and I'm listening to Beasley and Beasley's talking about this guy. And I'm like, who the hell is Crime Wave Chris? Crime Wave Chris? Then I'm like, whatever. Then he starts talking about, oh, you mean pro black Chris? All right. Lord Drazen. So, he was talking about some kind of court case, and I, I don't, I don't have any idea what it's all about. All I know is that I, I saw what he did. I, I, I found the, I found the pages, and that was it. So this is going to be my first time reading whatever this is all about, because I have no idea what this, what homie's all about. All I know is that homie's a funny guy. He roasts. I like his roasts. Hilarious. I'm talking about pro black Chris and uh dresden too i mean um beasley too but i don't know apparently um a lot of people have this hate towards beasley apparently they consider him to be like a, a weasel or a dirtbag or I, I don't know i don't care I, I i like i just like listening to these guys because it makes the day go smoothly whenever you're working if you're like chilling with the man and you're like you know what i'm saying so it's something that 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 lets the time go by you know, I used to listen to um, uh, these other guys, um, uh, Freeman and, uh, and Tommy and them, but I don't know, they're kind of boring to me right now. I don't know. I guess it's like the same shit every day. It's, it's kind of boring. Um, now I've been tuning in to uh, Bionic Steve, funny guy as well. <laughs> He's a funny guy as well. Uh, he's on the come up. I, 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 I wish only but good for this guy. He's, he's on the come up. So I wish all the best to him and uh, his pursuit in the uh, YouTube, in the black YouTube sector. Because uh, I, I do see him, uh, you know, his followers are growing. His chat room is growing slowly. He started from the bottom. He's all by himself. He's doing what he needs to do. You know, he's trying to get affiliated with as much people as possible. He's, he's still learning. He's trying to find his niche. So that's what's up. I, I I like that. He he's not he he just gives it for what he sees it. Anything that it, he just calls it like me down the middle. There's no choosing sides. If it's right, it's right. If it's wrong, it's wrong. You know, I think I heard Tommy say that once as well. You know I'm saying it's all about fair fairness. Five, In any five, case, five. let's go into this uh, reading right now. I'm gonna take you up on this reading challenge, Beasley. He called it the the the, the reading challenge. And um, he was saying that he, Beasley was saying that he's very articulate when, he's, when he reads, uh, very educational, very educated, sorry. And um, uh, he announces the words properly. So I, I give it to him. I, 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 I could, I'll give that to him. All three points. I'll give it to him. All right. So I'll take you up on the reading challenge. And uh, I wish I could have seen the Jeopardy challenge. That would have been fun, but I don't think a lot of YouTubers in this black sector are that educated when it comes to uh, certain subjects. It's pretty obvious just based on the way how they speak and what they always talk about and what they refer to. You know what I'm saying? They're not that too bright, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's get into it. Arizona Supreme Court won't limit probation service uh, searches. Wow. Off the rip. Okay. I will be reading. I'll try to do my best. Uh, I might make an error here and there, but um, let's see if I can win this uh, this challenge. Because I heard you made some mistakes. All right. I heard you. All right. So let's start from the beginning and let's get this started. Arizona Supreme Court won't limit probation searches. And don't mind me. I got the glasses. Phoenix. The Arizona Supreme Court ruled Tuesday that a trial court judge was wrong when he decided that a search of a probationer's home without a warrant violated his rights. The high court decision means a drug and weapons case 
that had been dismissed against a convicted crack cocaine dealer when he were when he were filed more broadly it means that people on probation can't move to exclude evidence seized during many warrantless searches the case involves a 2012 tip police received that 36 year old christian adair was again selling cocaine wow again so homie's a real drug dealer whenever i hear these guys online talking about what they used to do and blah 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 i could care less because i don't they're all lying talk some bullshit but wow he's a drug dealer that's what's up um yeah officers set up surveillance but saw nothing officers then called the maricopa county probation department which found crack cocaine scales cash and a gun in search authorized under adair's probation terms adair was charged with uh, possession drugs possessing drugs for sale illegal weapons possessing possession and a drug per familia charge the ruling trial judge used wrong standard his lawyer argued probation officials had no reasonable basis to search and a maricopa county superior court judge agreed now retired judge robert gottsfield wrote in his ruling that a probation search must be supported by a reasonable suspicion or a reasonable basis or reasonable grounds to believe the probationer has violated the terms of his probation or is engaging in criminal activity the Maricopa County Attorney's Office moved to dismiss the charges while it appealed Gottsfield's ruling. The Arizona Court of Appeals ruled that the trial judge used the wrong standard in determining if the search was reasonable and ordered him to reconsider his ruling using the right standard. They ruled that Gottsfield should have looked at the totality of the circumstances to determine if the search violated the Deer's Fourth Amendment rights to be free from unreasonable searches. Arizona Supreme Court limits warrantless searches. The high court went further, saying there's clear evidence the search was legal and therefore no need for the lower court to revisit whether to exclude the evidence. Although we agree with the court, end of, uh, court of Appeals that the reasonableness of the search depends on the totality of the circumstances and thus the trial court applied the wrong legal standard, we find no need to remand for the trial court to revisit. Adair's motion to suppress. Vice Chief Justice John Pellander wrote in the anonymous ruling, the record, even when, re even when viewed in the light most favorable to upholding the ruling below, establishes that the search was reasonable. Probation, con uh, probation condition allowed search. Pellander noted that Adair was a known probationer subject to a valid condition of warrantless searches. Probation officers conducted a proper search and the search wasn't arbitrary or intended to harass Adair. Most importantly, Pellander wrote Adair had uh, specifically agreed to a probation condition allowing warrantless searches. This is an important decision for, prosecute, for our prosecutors and law enforcement partners in the Maricopa County. Maricopa County Attorney Bill Montgomery said in a statement, probation conditions by their very nature allow for unrestricted access and in cases like these must be allowed to ensure that repeat offenders do not continue to perpetrate crimes in our communities. County Attorney or Spokeswoman Amanda Jacinto said prosecutors could move to re-indict Adair and must wait to see if his defense attorneys appeal the decision to federal court. Adair's, Adair's public defender Mike Steinfeld said office po policy prohibited, prohibited him from commenting. Man, I failed miserably. I don't know if I did as well as I thought I did, but I, I feel like I did bad with the reading there. But there's that. So, homie is a drug dealer. And I would always hear these guys always refer to the some sort of an incident that might have occurred where he's um, where uh, pro black Chris apparently goes on a drug run and uh, has his kid with him. <laughs> what is that for real 
Like you can't make this shit up. Like this this black sector is full of people who just open up their lives to complete strangers like us. And it's like You know, we, we, we get to see what kind of life people are living in. And you know what? We get entertainment by watching what other people go through. The trials that they go through. The ups and their downs. This is why I say this black sector is like the, the reality. It's like reality TV. It's better than reality TV. Ugh, we got these people who are just opening up to random people that they've never personally met. Joining people who they never even seen before, met before. They only met them through this online thing. There's some sort of alliance thing going on. It's weird. Why? <laughs> Why? There's no real loyalty. People will switch sides all the time. It's not like written in stone. Yeah, if I join this side, I'm going to stay there. Hell no. Nobody's really like that here. All right, so what else do we got here? I got this from caselaw.findlaw.com. This is long. I will have to read this by myself. Vice Chief Justice Palander authorized the opinion of the court in which Chief Justice Bales and Justices Bru, uh, Brutton L. Timmer and Bollock joined counsel. William G. Montgomery, Maricopa County, Attorney Lisa. Okay, we all got. Yeah, oh, I was just going to skip all that, but it looks like this might be important. Lisa Marie Martin argued. Deputy. Okay, I'm going to say I'm going to skip all that. This case concerns the constitutional standards that apply to a warrantless search of a probationer's residence. We hold that such a, su such a search complies with the Fourth Amendment if it is reasonable under the totality of the circumstances and that its legality does not hinge on whether the search is supported by reasonable suspicion. In March 2012, the Superior Court placed Christian and Darren on supervised probation for two felony convictions for solicitation to possess crack cocaine for sale under his court-imposed uniform probation conditions. But they agreed to submit to search and seizure of person and property by the probation department without a search warrant and to provide the probation department safe, unrestricted access to his residence. The probation conditions also require that they are to obey all laws and do not possess or use any firearms, ammunition, illegal drugs, or controlled substances. In late, 2000, in late December 2012, an informant told police that Adair was on probation for selling drugs for an undercover officer. And the informant thought Adair was still selling crack cocaine. The informant did not want to be named in any police report but gave the police his name, birth date, and address. Over the next several months, the informant continued to contact police and indicated that Adair's young child might have accompanied him during narcotic sales. Holy shit, this is for real then. A police officer confirmed that Adair was on probation for selling drugs to an undercover officer and had a child with him during, during one such transaction and that Adair lived at the address the informant provided. After receiving the above information from police, the probation department conducted a warrantless search of Adair's residence in March 2013 pursuant to his probation conditions. At the probation department's request, police accompanied probation officer officers on the search. So on the search, Adair was home when the officers conducted the search. The officers entered and seized crack cocaine, scales, packaging materials, about $450 in cash, a gun and ammunition. Adair was charged with felony possession of narcotic drugs for sale, possession of drug paraphernalia, paraphernalia, sorry, and misconduct involving weapons. The probation officer also filed a petition to revoke Adair's probation. Adair moved to suppress the items sir, uh, seized during the search, arguing that it was a warrantless, pretextual police search, not a search by probation officers under their probation conditions. After an evident, uh, evidentiary hearing, the trial court rejected that argument. Mm. 
In a motion for reconsideration, Adair argued that the evidence should be suppressed because the probation officers lacked reasonable suspicion for the search. <laughs> the trial court reconsidered and ruled that a probation search must be supported by reasonable suspicion or a reasonable basis or reasonable grounds to believe the probationer has violated the terms of his probation or is engaging in criminal activity standards the court deemed synonymous in the probation search context. Concluding that the search did not meet those standards or have a sufficient legal basis, the court granted the motion to suppress. Wow. The Court of, the court of Appeals disagreed with the standards the trial court applied and instead held that reasonableness under the totality of the circumstances satisfies the Fourth Amendment when analyzing the probation officer's warrantless search of a probationer's residence undertaken pursuant to the probation conditions. State versus Adair 238, Arizona 193, 199, 20, 35, 358, P3D, blah, 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 blah. The court vacated the order granted the motion to suppress and remanded to the superior court to determine whether their probation officer's warrantless search of Adair's residence and resulting seizure of contraband was reasonable under the totality of the circumstances. We granted review to clarify the constitutional standards governing a warrantless search of a probationer's residence, a recurring legal issue of statewide importance. This court has jurisdiction under Article 6, Section 5.3 of the Arizona Constitution and ARS 12-120-24. We review a trial court's ruling on a motion to suppress for abuse of discretion, considering only the evidence presented at the suppression hearing and viewing the facts in the light most favorable to sustaining the trial's court ruling. State versus Butler, 232, Arizona, blah, blah, blah. An error of law constitutes an abuse of discretion. All these uh, case numbers and a suppression order based on an incorrect legal standard may be reversed. Although we generally defer a trial court's factual findings if reasonably supported by the evidence, we review the ultimate legal determination de novo. State vs. Evans. Whether reasonable suspicion is required to authorize a warrantless search of a probationer's residence is a question of law, which we review de novo. C State versus Cerna, 235 Arizona, 270, 272, 7331, P3D, 405, 407, 2014. We first clarify what is not an issue here. The case does not involve a random or suspicionless search, and thus we do not decide today whether a probation officer's warrantless search of a probationer's residence may be valid absent any suspicion whatsoever of illegal activity or any or other probation violation. All right, so I'm going to read this all by myself because we're not going to continue to go down this line because I'll be here forever. I'll just read a bit of the end though. As the trial court stated, the information received from the informant never changed, but instead remained the same and contrary to the court's remark information that Adair was still selling crack cocaine out of his home. Are you serious, bro? Was not available from the public record, nor does a finding that this probationary search was reasonable hinge on the informant's predict future behavior. A showing generally required for police searches of seize seizures based on anonymous tips anonymous tipsters prediction of defendants future activity is generally required to show tipsters reliability finally and importantly the court imposed probation conditions to which adair agreed specifically required him to submit a warrantless probationary search and seizure of person with property and to provide the probation department safe unrestricted access to his residence the search here was conducted in accordance with, these, with those conditions, a salient circumstance that significantly diminished Adair's reasonable expectations of privacy. Knights 534 US at 118, 120. The search was directly related to the further conditions under which Adair agreed to obey all laws and not possess illegal drugs. Considering the totality of the circumstances we hold, the search conducted here was reasonable and thus constitutional. 
The court appeals opinion is vacated. The superior court's order granted Adair's motion to suppress is reversed, and the case is remanded to to the superior court for further proceedings. This is huge. This is huge. Um. Wow. So I heard Beasley show, and uh, he played a, a clip of Homie, um, I guess, addressing his circumstance about the case. And then Beasley was calling him out, saying that he was a liar and that he was uh, not telling the truth. Well, the truth is in the is in the pudding here. All you, ha- all you have to do is just search. Christian, oh sorry, Arizona Supreme Court versus Christian and Dare, and then you'll find it. You'll find it all here. I'll read this all for myself when I finish off this uh, this show. But um, this is huge. When it gets to Supreme Court, and there's still be, you know, I I think what they're gonna do is make an example. Uh, they're gonna make an example of this guy. And um, I would advise for you bro to no longer talk about this online the less you say the better it is for your case the more you talk the more you will damage it that's pretty obvious everybody knows that if you're in court if you're going to court and you and you know your case is not finished and it's still in motion you should not ever talk about it period that's just logical but um i'm done i'm done i'm gonna continue to look at what's going on in this sector when it comes to homie right here i'll uh keep my eyes post well I'll keep my ears to the street when it comes to any new um information that's going on with him it's pretty interesting because uh even busy sold uh some prior convictions and cases and shit that this guy's done in the past i'm not gonna be doing all that it's just ridiculous leave that for them to do but um to have a huge i i, I saw the the list and the list and like the the, the 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 rap sheet is just long it's dangerous you got a real thug on her on a in her midst here watch out <laughs> If he says that he's going to do something, I'm sure he'll probably do it. Or would he? Who knows? It don't matter. The only person that this would actually affect is the people in his immediate circle. Not us. It's not to say that I don't care. It's that it doesn't affect me. Does that mean I'm saying the same thing? I'm just justifying? (laughs) In any, in any case, uh, as I said before, I'm done. Uh, check out the, the website, www.edmundthegeneral.com. Um, again, I'm sure y'all are going to find something pretty interesting there. I don't know, like, I'm really feeling this mixtape here. Volume 18. Volume 18 is power. I don't know what else to say, but it's, it's powerful. But in any case, um, I got nothing else to say. Shout out to Jay Black for doing your thing, bro. Shout out to Jay Black, man. I know none of these guys know who I am. You shouldn't care about who I am. I'm just on the sidelines watching y'all. That's all. I need some sort of entertainment while my day goes when I'm at work. Or <laughs> if I'm somewhere and I want to hear and I want a whole bunch of people to laugh at this at a few people, then I'll put on certain individuals uh, stream. So we can all laugh at them. <laughs> Cause I swear some of these guys are idiots. Idiots. 
Like the things that they say, the way how they act, the things that they do. <laughs> it's like we just sit back, we look, we put out, we, we break out some popcorn, you know, get some brew. The whole group of us, we just sit back, we just laugh at you, at some of these guys. Laugh. These guys are stupid. Anyways, <laughs> this is Evan the General signing off. Coming from the greatest country in the world. I'm out.